an improvisation of a scooter rebuild or cut up doesn't go very fast and uh, batteries don't last it had some little batteries on it but what I'm going to do is take this Curry Technologies 750 watt motor slash wheel assembly and mount that somehow on this and we're making an electric scooter the first step is to drill a hole in the support beam so we can attach the bearing to the motor for the motor And here we have our one of our wheel support structures finished with the bearing mounted on there. Who knows how good it's going to work, but we'll see. Goes right on top. Like that. Slides right in there. So this is going to, we're going to make another one for the other side and then make a beam that connects them together. Let's see how it does. First I'd like to point out that we made some welds over here to make this piece of metal stable. And next we are going to cut along these lines and bend it so it can fit the upper wheel because the upper wheel is going to be too big and it'll look like this, something like this. just bent this into place and soon we're going to weld it so it's more stable and then we are going to mount the wheel on it. Okay, so done some work since the last time and uh, setting up for mounting the back wheel assembly and uh, see a welded on little mounting bracket. This part here is probably going to be cut off. I, I, I thought that I could use that and bend it, but I think what I'm going to do is make a straight piece across here so I can put the batteries on. So this is where we're at. Okay, uh, some further work was done here. As you can see, the uh, wheel is mounted with the bearing on one side and the gearbox on the other. Hopefully, that's okay. We'll find out. There's an experiment here, anyways. So, got another support beam across here, one back there. I had to extend the uh, the distance of the uh, the length of the handlebar here. It's a little short. See a quick and dirty weld there. And uh, that's where we're at right now. Just going to mount the batteries. I'm going to mount them quick, quick and dirty with some wood maybe. 
don't feel like doing any more welding right now and wire up the switches this here is on off normally open for the throttle and I'm just going to use that to connect the volt the batteries to the motor and this here is a normally closed and it opens when you hit it for the brake so I'm going to have to wire up draw a little schematic for some relay control here and uh, and move on to the next step pretty soon we'll take it off for a ride okay finished product gonna get ready to do a maiden voyage waiting for Max batteries mounted up here Put a little kickstand on there On first. Oh, I hope it works. Brace yourself. Should you wear a helmet? Don't need a helmet. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. You just died. Wait, it stops? It died for some reason. I think maybe the relay fused. I got a weak relay in there. All right, let's take it down. I'm gonna have to change the relay. Where are you even going? Okay, we changed out the relay. Put a bigger relay in there, 70 amp relay. That's what failed before. Okay, now I'm gonna try it. Max is gonna film me. Okay, that was a scary ride. Um, I'm checking the relay contacts and they're fused together. So that's why I couldn't get the thing to stop and I dumped it. So, so here's the relay contact. As you can see, the, uh, the relay contacts are fused. So that was the problem. No stop. Alright, we're gonna try it for a ride now. Hopefully I don't uh doesn't get stuck on and uh I dump on like last time. Oops. Something just popped. Okay. Gonna give it another shot. We have a homemade electronic controller in here. Gotta wait for this car. Don't go crazy. Stop! Stop! Yeah, go in short little bursts. Go in short little bursts. Stop! I think the front tire's flat. Yeah, stop. Dark. What you gotta do is you gotta let off of the gas. Okay, this is switched. It certainly handle a lot of current. We'll see eventually if the contacts get pitted out. Probably you can see it right there from one ride, short ride. But we'll see. It's fun to do. I'm gonna put that back together and then we'll try it again. <laughs> 